Hi, Dave Snyder here. It's the 12th day of December, 2013. Okay, I want to show you. Okay, these patterns that I'm showing you with the the lunar image. We're going to start out with the lunar image. This is a reversed image of the moon, right? So just just to try to explain this a little, little bit. I mean, I don't I don't even see why I need to do this, but anyways, this pattern, this weather pattern right here is from the North Pacific. It came from right here. I saved it from right here. It on Wonder Maps, not on Google Earth. I saved it on Wonder Maps, but it came from this area of the Pacific right here okay overlaid that over this the lunar image that is reversed over the earth and that's how it fit right lined up to Copernicus you see the line on the moon right here this line the straight line that comes up and you can see it following the same straight line on the on the in the weather it's not coincidence people this is not coincidence I, I've been doing this and this is not the only image of the moon all sides of the moon have hit the earth all sides okay it, this is the most recent obviously this side faces the earth it's hit the earth many t more times. I mean, l recently, more more than likely. But this, all, all these overlays, I did separately at separate times. that did not align them to each other. All, I lined each one individually to this lunar image at separate times, and I'm just bringing them up to show you each individual one. There's three of them. This is the one that was in the North Pacific, like as I just said. You see, there's Copernicus right there. Boom. See it? Okay, so that's the first one I did, or showed anyways in my videos. Then the second one is probably this one. And and notice that it's lined up just beautifully with the original with the first one I did. And that was you know, I didn't have the other one up to to align to, but there it is. See that? And then here's the one I showed. This is in it obviously in the Indian Ocean. And then the last one I did I showed you was in North America, right up here. Look how they all line together. Here's, here, let me just show you this one with this one. Hmm. Imagine that. See that same line right there. See that? And then right here on the Earth, you got that line that comes through here. That that straight gash right there. I'm sure those are related. But this is by far not the only lunar image that it, part of the moon has hit the Earth. Not even close. There's so much more. And I'm not trying to put out some kind of bad thing or anything, but you know what? You know what I'm sick of is, is being lied to. I don't appreciate it. And if this, I've seen, been seeing so much, so much that shows that the moon has hit the earth. You can do this yourself, and you would see the same thing if you just looked. Most people will not, don't seem to look for themselves. You know, it's real easy. Like I said in the last video, you just put a lunar image down on the on the on the earth backwards, and you just go from there. You see something that looks familiar, you put it there. And you can turn this off at any time and turn it on at any time. You know? This is one I've just been working on lately. They're showing so we've seen one here, one here. Obviously the Great Lakes are probably the center of that impact. I am thinking that's gotta be the center because if you've ever watched the episode of uh, how the earth was made where they talk about that big like basin that's underneath this or it's like they show a perfectly round basin, which is Copernicus. It's right, it shows it right in here somewhere in the weather right in here. So it's got to be the Great Lakes. When they it had to be over this area of the Earth over here in the Indian Ocean. It had to be, or some some or or in New Zealand right here, where I show this. So that right there in itself, you know, th th I mean they know this. I don't know why they don't tell us this. I mean I I kind of know, but I mean. It, I mean, I know that there, that this has to do with you know greed, but I don't know. I just don't want to be lied to anymore, and I'm sure other people don't either. And if you want to, you know, continue that living that way, go ahead. But I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna go for. I don't go for that. I'm fuck that. You tell me the truth about the earth that I live on, or don't tell me anything, right? Don't tell. If you can't tell me the truth, don't tell me anything at all. Don't put out documentaries to tell me this bullshit. When it's you know when you know what the truth is, I mean it's real easy to see people. Check it yourself. Watch my videos if you need to. I'm really getting uh, winded on explaining, trying to explain this, and people get leaving co you know lame comments that you know just pay attention to what I'm trying to show you. I'm saying the moon's hit the Earth a bunch of times, a lot of times, and and the, the evidence is everywhere in the weather. Okay, that's all. Just don't just just don't want to be lied to that's it tell me the truth or tell me nothing at all have a good day